What's up guys, it's Joey626 and this is a video response to um, Angel Writer Speaks, right? I think that's her name. Um, but yeah, um, it's about a MTV show that I don't watch because um, I don't have TV actually. I just have internet. But um, it is called If You Really Knew Me. So yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Um, if you really knew me, you would know that I write a lot of poetry. Um, if you really knew me, you would know that music is a really big part of my life, just for the fact that um, I grew up listening to Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, um, a lot of 80, 70 people, R&B, rhythm and blues, um, now at this freaking generation, you don't know you don't know what rhythm and blues means anymore. Um, if you really knew me, you would know that um, I love to travel. I'm 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 really thankful that I'm in Colorado, because um, I mean I mean don't get me wrong, I do miss my hometown Miami, but you know there's a lot of opportunities here that I don't have in Miami. Um, if you really knew me, you would know that I'm very nurturing. I guess I, I get that from my mother's side. Um, she's always um, very attentive, attentive with people, and I'm I'm very nurturing with when when it comes to my friends. Um, but at the same time, um, I can I always have to be careful, um, especially because now I have a lot of friends. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot, but I have a few friends that are really really good to me, and um, like four or five friends. Um, they're also army wives, and. Um, I'm very nurturing just because if, if they're in my house, I'm like, do you want to eat? I'll cook for them. Um, I I'm, I'm always try to be there for them all the time. Um, it, it kind of surprises me that I'm still the same way um, when it comes to me being nurturing because, I mean, it, it, people can take, take advantage of my nurture and my kindness. And it has happened, like, you know, in the past with two different chicks. So, um, I always gotta, you know, it's still in the back of my head, you know, to be careful with people and not be too nice. But, I mean, that's the way I am. Um, what else? If you really knew me, you know I like to read books. Especially books uh, that have to do with self-improvement. Um, also psychology and reincarnation, I guess. And whatever interests me at the moment. Um, if you really knew me, you know that I'm very passionate with, when it comes to family, especially my my, my immediate family, um, not so much with my husband's family. Maybe maybe uh, when it comes to his cousins and stuff, but I'm not. I don't know. I I I, I tend to stay away from his family um, emotionally, and you know, I don't know because they're they're different, and I don't know. They see things in a different way, I guess. Um, what else? Um, so yeah, I really, really cherish my family. Like, I'm always talking about my family. Um, always making sure that, that my family is happy. Um, what else? Um, if you really knew me, you would know that I'm, I'm, I'm very simple. I'm a very simple chick. Um, I don't put makeup on. I mean, the closest to makeup I wear is eyeliner. Um... I mean, I'm not. I I wear jewelry, but I'm not like a big, you know, prissy chick and stuff. I'm not into Coach brands and you know, Dooney and Burke. What's it called, Dooney and Burke? See, I don't even know. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Um, I'm I'm not shallow. If, um, I always had friends that were, um, back in high school, or friends with people that were disabled and stuff. I would help them out. Um, just because I knew where they were coming from. Um, and what else? If you really knew me, you would know that I enjoy cooking now. Um, before I wasn't as confident. Um, and now I'm comfortable and, and, and now I can teach my friends how to cook. Especially because they're younger than me, so I can actually teach them, which is really, really cool. Um, if you really knew me, you would know I'm, I'm very serious when it comes to school. And I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud of myself that I'm starting school tomorrow. Um... I mean, I, I just couldn't finish just because I didn't take shit seriously once, one, and two is because, you know, um, 
I had to fa I have I got married and and you know the economy the economy went really down you know when I you know you least expect it and so I had to work and um, give school a break and um, but it was always in my head go back to school back to school and I changed my major to zoology zoo zookeeping technology so um, I'm happy I'm, I love animals you guys know that. Um, I had seven cats at one time. So, um, I love to take care of my animals. I'm very emotional when it comes to my animals. When my, my, my dog got sick, uh, I cry. Because <laughs> you, you don't know. You, they can't talk. So, yeah. Um, I love my animals. And, um, what else? If you really knew me, you would know um, that I am very different from what I was maybe five years ago. Uh, back in high school, I was very insecure. Um, I, I was going through social anxiety, and um, I was just trying to find myself. I, I, I didn't accept myself until I got to college. Isn't that crazy? I didn't accept myself just because I felt that others didn't accept me, but I think for you to motivate yourself and, and trying to be social and stuff and trying to meet people, you have to accept yourself, one. One, be happy with yourself. And... Um, what else? Um, just be comfortable with people around you. And, and that's how I feel now. Like here, Colorado, it's so different. Like, I've not heard one person say I'm quiet. I've not heard one person say I'm shy. Or, you know, stuff like that. So, it's it's crazy. I've, I've done a big, big improvement. And, I mean, I have friends. And um, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. And they're chicks. They're chicks. Um, so... If you really knew me, you would know that I always had guy friends um, before um, I got married. So um, it was just because I didn't trust girls and, you know, they took advantage of my kindness and betrayed me and blah, blah, blah. Chicks, chicks. Um, but I think most girls go through that. And it takes them, you know, it, it took me a, a, a very long time to get over my ex-girlfriends, ex-girlfriends, um, ex-best friends, you know, betrayal. So it, it took a long time and now, you know, I meet girls because I want to meet, you know, I want to go out and have fun and, you know, have fun with the girls. So, um, yeah, because you, when you have, you're lonely and you have problems with, even with your own family or, or your husband, it's like, who are you going to talk to? I'm not going to talk to my mother and um be like oh look look this is what's happening now that's why i have my girlfriends and i'm happy to hair stuff i have my friend who's gonna dye my hair like th this week or something you know stuff like that we like we all help each other so it's pretty cool um so yeah um if you want to make a video response um i have two more minutes left but um make a video response with the title if you really knew me and so we can you know get to know each other subscribers you know um so yeah um thank you so much for the new subscribers um and have a blessed week goodbye